of bringing some color and happiness into this house. And we're gonna, was only, she only played 15 minutes. She was 50 yards away from me and I could see her and I could hear her. But 10 years later, Colleen is still wondering where Morgan is. Somebody thought they could come to this town and that they could take my child. She turned a parent's worst nightmare into hope for others. We as parents, we as a community, we as a state have the right to stand up and say we will make a difference for our children. She's helped reunite over a hundred children with their families and that is just amazing. And I swear I'm gonna find you if it's the last thing that I do. The design team is going to extremes. Good, good. To build the home of her dreams and make her job just a little bit easier. Her goal is every day to wake up and find a missing child. Hopefully one day it'll be Morgan. There's more Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Let's bring the family home! Right now. This is really coming together well. I'm on the front porch. Look how huge it is. It's so expansive. I mean, it just runs the entire length of the front of the house. For Karen's room, I need a lot of daffodils. And uh, since I can't get them around here, I have these guys ship them for us. Look at that. Boxes and boxes and full of daffodils. This is fantastic. I love how open it is in here. Now, by the end of the day, we're hoping to get paint on all these walls. At least a first coat. It's going to be a big day of bringing some color and happiness into this house. Everybody with a tie on is a painter? Yes, sir. Uh, what do we got over here? I'm not really sure what that is. <laughs> it's a $2 tie, my yeah, friend. exactly. <laughs> here. Really. I mean, here's a few more bucks. Get yourself something that uh, won't make Michael cry, all right? Oh. Uh, Happy room. Taryn loves to go in the fields when they bloom and pick the daffodils. And the time Paige is done with this room, there's been all kinds of daffodils going on. Taking daffodils and just um, cutting them right at the top of their stems and gluing them on. And they'll actually be working lamps. When Morgan comes home and if Morgan comes home, she will have her room right here. We realize that if we're going to do this house, we have to do our best to make a room for Morgan. This was actually attic space. None of this was really supposed to be here. It wasn't in the original plan. The builder was awesome. We said, listen, we have to have this, no matter what. Michael took on that project and said that he's going to call the room Hope. The bed will be right here. Take advantage of this amazing view. And hopefully one day there'll be a 16-year-old girl living right here in this room. One of the many symbolic gestures that parents of missing children uh, put in their home or on their home, in this case, is a porch light. One of the team members from the Home Builders Association is actually a coppersmith. So Preston worked with him to get the most beautiful front porch light you've ever seen. This will be the center. And then we'll have Some the kind top. Of a top. Oh, cool. So you're almost there. I'm getting close. We want her to have a symbolic light to say, this light is always on for my child to come home. Good work, Daniel. I know your mom's really proud of you, too. Thanks. Very good. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Polly! Come on, get in the truck. I want to show you something. You got to help me out for a minute. We're going big. I was working in the art truck, and Ty stopped by and said, uh, Yo, Polly, come on, come with me. I got something uh, I may need a hand with. How you guys doing? Awesome. So did you guys, uh, did you get the photos? Sure did. did you? Fantastic, man. I appreciate you guys being here. This is going to make a huge difference. What are we doing on the interstate? Well, here's the deal. It's all about getting the message out. Ty had planned out a big billboard that uh, had Morgan's picture both at six years old and what she would look like at 16 years old. I figure we put a picture of Morgan up there. This way, it gets a lot of exposure. It's right. heading right toward right. Alma, so you never know what could happen. Good idea. Anybody going in that town is going to see this billboard and because of that aids in hand photograph you never know maybe someone's seen her paul do me a favor go with these guys get in the sky lift i'm gonna actually send a video to the family all right you guys make sure that it's seamless it looks perfect all right gotcha. okay i'll get my camera i wanted to make sure i got a, a video of it so i could send it to colleen the one thing she said to me is get morgan's story out there let people know and i think this is a really big way to do that 
family. I hope you guys are having a great time on vacation. Now, the one thing you said you wanted me to do is to tell Morgan's story. And well, I took that to heart. And well, we're gonna tell her story in a big way. As you can see behind me, right there, is a billboard. Such a billboard. We took a photo of Morgan when she was six and what she would look like now at 16. And what we're gonna do is put it up there on that gigantic billboard so anybody driving toward Alma is gonna be able to see her and hopefully remember something about that night and give us any information. So here we go. Paul, you ready? Ready. Then hit it! Go, guys, go! It's a big billboard, and hopefully it's going to be a big deal, and hopefully we're going to get a big lead. So, I hope you guys are having a great time on vacation. We know that we're thinking about you, and hopefully you're pretty excited about that. I know I am. Colleen was so impressed with what we did with the billboard, she immediately called Ty to thank him. The billboard, it is so awesome. Well, I'm glad you like it. I hope that a lot of people are going to see it, and who knows what could happen, you know? 80,000 cars a day um, cross that crossroads there, and now I'm on the interstates. Listen, enjoy your vacation. Know that everybody here is thinking about you guys, and we cannot wait to see you when you get back, okay? Okay, bye, Ty. Bye, Colleen. I hope that the person who knows the truth about what happened to Morgan sees that sign every day, and that from seeing that, they find the courage to come forward. I made a phone call to a guy named John Walsh, who's with the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Hey, John. Hey, man, it's me, Ty. Uh, you got those pictures? Great. If there's anybody who knows about losing a child as well, it would be John. Hey, Ty, how are you? I'm good, man. Thanks for being here. I'm honored to be here. Glad to be here. He lost his son 24 years ago. Our son, Adam, our only child at the time, was six and a half years old when he was kidnapped from a mall in Hollywood, Florida. Some was abducted and murdered, and he made it his life's passion as well to make sure that didn't happen to anyone else's child. The Justice Department says about 58,000 kids are kidnapped every year, and one in six kids are recovered just by the simple showing of the pictures. He brought with him several photos of other kids that are missing and told me their stories. This is Monica Carrasco, went missing in October 2003. She would be 18 years old in this age-enhanced photo. Tika Lewis, now eight years old, missing since January 23rd, 1999. Showing photos of some of these kids, including Morgan, and several million people are going to see this. Jacob Wetterling has been missing for 17 years. He was kidnapped in 1989, age progress photo. Natasha Shane. 26 years old, missing since 1985. This is Brianna Maitland, now 18 years old, missing since March 2004. Acacia Bishop, missing since May 25th, 2003. Sabrina Eisenberg, missing since November 1997. Because of Colleen and Morgan's story, we have a chance here to really let a lot of people know about missing children and the fact that some of them can come home. This is Catherine Lugo. She would be 16 years old in this age progress photo. This is Joanna Rogers, now with an age progress photo, 17 years old. This is the best thing that we can do, regardless of the home or whatever. It's this ship of hope's exposure to millions of people that pay attention to what we do. Coming up. Holly, take five for a second. I want to show you something really cool. Five minute break. Ty had a pretty special guest for us. Guys, Kathy Matea. It was just the most touching and wonderful moment because every word in that song was perfect for the job that we were doing this week. That's next on Extreme Makeover Home Edition. Starting with Love and Spend here, uh, just ripping all our pieces, getting all our lumber cut, and then we'll go ahead and put it all together. We got Logan a queen-size bed. We're going to build that platform that we usually build, but then we're going to go ahead and inset all these amps underneath it. Amplifiers. So we got our amplifiers in. We'll go ahead and we can take these apart. We'll use these for the bed. You see, all the guts have been taken out of them. They're not real working amplifiers. But you look from here, and it, it looks like rock and roll. 
So uh, that's what we're working on right now. Pretty simple stuff, and uh, we'll have a bed for him. How's the bed coming? Hey, guys, five-minute break. Hey, you guys up there, take five. I want you to see something outside, all right? I want everybody to stop what you're doing. Take a five-minute break. Follow me outside, okay? Something really cool is about to happen. Polly, take five for a second. I want to show you something really cool. For a little motivation and to inspire all of us and remind ourselves why we're here, Ty gathered everyone up and had a little surprise guest for us. So, I want everybody to take five minutes uh, just, just to take a break for a second because, well, this is pretty, really, really cool. Guys, Kathy Matea. Ty gave her a call and said, hey, can you come down and perform for us and for the family and for the neighborhood? We sold a CD to benefit the Center for uh, Missing and Exploited Children. And when they called us to come, we all just loaded on the bus just to get to be here with all y'all. So uh, thanks for having us. And thank you for all your hard work back there. It's just great that there's people out there that are huge, you know, country singer rock stars, and they'll take the time to write a song about something that's important as missing children. Without you, I'm as cold inside as the dark side of the moon. When you're not there, my only prayer is that you're home and soon. Cause every time the phone rings, I think the worst and best things. I'd give all I have to have you here with me. It was just the most touching and wonderful moment because every word in that song meant something and every word in that song was perfect for the job that we were doing this week. Baby, it's so quiet now I can hear the darkness fall Colleen's mom was standing behind me and I looked at her and I thought, my God, those words are so true and what she must be feeling. And it can say a thousand words but your smile is all I've heard. It tells of the lonely nights and, and of unanswered phone calls and of the hope and the dream that you have to have. Cause you're still among the missing and I'm still missing you. And I swear I'm gonna find you if it's the last thing that I do. And to be standing next to Colleen's family, you really felt like you went through all the pain and hurt that they've been going through. I mean, this has been 10 years. 10 years that this family has no idea what happened to their baby. This is why Colleen believes Morgan is coming home, because without that dream, without that hope, why wake up tomorrow? The only dream I've got. here and we cannot wait to bring the family home it really was a great thing for ty to get us all together and to share this together all i can say is let's get busy people let's finish the house now let's get back to work it just kind of reminded us why we're here what we're doing and was a true inspiration and motivation to keep on going Yourself. I got it. Got it? Yeah. Taryn's Playhouse is a great thing because it's a little house, all for her. We really wanted to keep Taryn's house the way it was, so what we're going to do is through the back of it, we're going to build a little more. We're going to give her another 80 square feet on top of that. We'll put the old playhouse right out front, and then we're going to mask it maybe with some trees and some fence to make a secret door. So this is the new secret wing. So when Ty walks her out there, hopefully she'll just see her little playhouse, and then we'll have a secret panel. She'll push it and go to a whole new room. So we got our three walls up. Now this last wall, we don't have to worry about because it's actually the wall of our existing clubhouse. And here's the secret door. She can just push you open. Voila. I know she likes to have a lot of friends come over and they can camp out back there. And she started it, we're just gonna finish it. Go!